there. But mostly, if you're training, if you're cross training, if you're C C uh, cross fitting, if you're putting up big numbers like me, you gotta grab out nano sevens. And he's out, just like that. <laughs> morning bright and early 5 a.m. getting ready to go with this Tuesday Tuesday Wednesday morning class I'm all weirded out right now so to kick my day off I couldn't have asked for a better thing to happen than this at the house I live in I have to drive my garbage down to where the garbage cans are there's that much of a distance between it's walkable but I mean let's be honest I'm not gonna get up at 345 to walk the garbage out right so I got maybe four like white Febreze style filled garbage bags full, plus like three other bags of recycling. Driving it down the end of the block. What happens? I get out of my car, hear a giant hissing noise, thinking it's the biggest snake in the world. Turns out it's a raccoon that could pass for a bear. So, me being the grown man I am, I scream a little bit, and then I jump and get back in my car, speed off, then come to realize I'm on 294 North, still got 15 minutes of driving ahead of me, full of a car of garbage. So, thank you to our local Starbucks that happened to have their dumpster open that allowed me to throw our garbage out. Try and top a way to start your day like that. Happy Wednesday, friends. Let's make today count. I'm happy to say that we are with Jeff Morrow. How you doing? Okay, look at that. Mm -hmm. He just recently worked out in the new Nano 7s. He actually borrowed a pair of mine to break them in. As mm -hmm. you can see, we leave the tag on. Street style. Because we're from the streets. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, okay. okay. Um, I, I overall like this shoe. I have one gripe about it. I think I have to loosen it more, but I did loosen it. It's a little tight around the ankle here, it's like rubbing up against my skin. Everybody knows I have sensitive skin, so this is uh, not a plus. Everything else is full of pluses. Great feeling, harder shoe than the Nano 6s. Uh -huh. um, harder landing, but softer encapsulation of the foot with the fabric. I'm digging the fabric. They feel lighter. I'm digging the ties too, nice, nice springy quality to the shoe ties there. Mm -hmm. um, and as you can see, it's got this you know, one color kind of motif going on there. It's hard to stand up because I've rocked my quads today, obviously. obviously. So these are great for uh, chippers, bangers, uh, CP battery workouts, AMRAPs, EMOMs, Pilates. Uh, yoga, not great for because you have to take off your shoes in yoga. So these are obviously, point is moot. Uh, you can't use it for spin because when I spin, I clip in. You know, I mean, there's things of this nature, but mostly if you're training, if you're cross training, if you're C C uh, cross fitting, if you're putting up big numbers like me, you gotta grab out nano sevens. And he's out, just like that. Hey guys, uh, it is 4:10. I just finished my workout. I'm about to coach the 4:30. A couple other classes tonight. Um, and I didn't have much time. Only about only had about an hour to train. Um, it's been kind of a tough adjustment for me lately. Uh, I used to train twice a day, three to four hours a day, and revolve the rest of the day around my training, and now my training is something I barely fit in every day. Uh, it's a personal choice, um, but it's been tough to kind of accept a new me, um, not being the competitive athlete anymore, and now just, you know, just trying to be fit and healthy and happy with myself. Um, so I, I just, you know, we all go through changes in life. We all go through phases and uh, no matter where you are at, um, be happy. Don't be upset that you weren't where you used to be or you aren't where you want to be. Be happy with where you're at because it's where exactly where you're supposed to be. Um, and that is what I am embracing this year. More self-love. Didn't love that workout, but I know I'll be happy I did it later. I'll talk to you guys later. What is the most attractive part of you? Jeez, probably my butt. It's amazing. Alright, walk over there. Let me see. Let me see my heart. Woo! It's fire. How'd you 
you feel about your power clean? Uh, not good. I know, because you missed an entire front squat. Uh, well, that's the way I was told to do it. Yeah? 100%. Unbelievable. What's your most attractive part of you? Calves. All right, let me see those calves. Oh, damn. Oh, <laughs> damn. <laughs> That's a twerk? That's a twerk calf? Joe? Yes? What is the most attractive part of you physically? Oh. Like, when you look in the mirror, like, what do you just go crazy for? About my yourself? Hair. My hair. Oh, my God. Run your hand through it. Look <laughs> at the camera and run your hand through it. Yeah, baby. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Laura. So, I, everybody at Daily OCF wants to know, what do you think is the most attractive part of you physically? Like, what do you look in the mirror and just go, damn, I got it. My smiles and eyes. Woo! Give him a wink, baby, give him a wink. Woo! Fire! What's up, guys? 8.45. Just finished the 7.30. This is when we set up for the next day. You think that this all just magically happens? It's done. Nope. I did it all. No one else helped. <laughs> all ready for tomorrow. It's so pretty. Time to sign off. Rocio will see you bright and early. Have a wonderful evening.